show all of it. We'll also give you an opportunity to help in this fight. It's very simple. You can do it right there, right at home while you're watching TV. All you need is a phone. First of all, though, let's go back to this week. It has been an incredible week, and it all started Sunday at Slim's with Huey Lewis and the News. Suzanne Shaw was there. I was one of the lucky ones. It, this was a great night. I can't even tell you. There were a limited number of seats. Have you ever been to Slim's? I was actually there the night it opened, and it was a mob scene. You couldn't uh, move. It was a bit of a mob scene there, but you could move because they limited the seating to 350. It's a small club. It's intimate. It's a great place to see Huey Lewis in the news. People waited outside, of course, and they paid 125 bucks a head to get in. Great food and, of course, wonderful music and a good cause. The crowd waited in line for hours till the doors opened, of course, and then suddenly the place was packed with a real variety of people. Stars like Bobby McFerrin and Dwight Clark. But other people in the crowd, they told me, worked as truck drivers, waiters, just regular folks willing to shell out a lot of money for a very good cause. And I know they got their money's worth. Huey Lewis said he was psyched to play such a small club. The last 330 gigs we've done have been uh, 10,000 or more seats. So, um... You know, it's it's fun. It, uh, we uh, we we're doing some different songs. We're doing some oldies and stuff, and it's uh, it's fun. It's gonna be fun. Let's have a big big hand for my mates, Huey Lewis and the News.
That's a pretty good assignment you have. I would say it ranks right up there with the Pope, Jerry. <laughs> you know, the guy has charisma, though. I mean, the entire band, they, they played some oldies, they played reggae, they're branching out. They're really, really very exciting. Yeah, it's great. We're, we're, we're going to hear more from Huey Lewis, lots of other performers. You can hear there's warm-up music going on outside now. Stay tuned. We're just in our first hour. We'll be right back. Hi. And we heard a big rumor you're going to sing today. Well, only because it's a benefit for AIDS. <laughs> Huey told me to uh, treat this like it was an uh, exhibition game, so if I mess up, nobody really cares. Now, have you been practicing in the shower? Yeah. You have to ask my wife about that. And now, come on, I hear you thing. have a great voice. A lot of people are looking forward to this. They told what? me we're not here to see Huey. We want to see Dwight Clark sing. Yeah, right. Well, <laughs> Huey, Huey told me I didn't have to do it if I didn't want to. I really want to do it, but I'm scared to death. That's yeah. the way it is. Yeah. We're backstage at the Oakland Stadium. Now, Suzanne, did I hear that right? Was Dwight Clark talking about singing the other night? <laughs> I'm not going to give it away, but I think we ought to go back to Slim's with Huey Lewis and the news and special guest. Lee Dorsey, folks, out of New Orleans.
You want to hear him do another one? No way. Well, let's rock and roll a little bit.
And that, of course, was Huey Lewis in the news from Sunday at Slim's. Well, things are starting to pick up backstage here at the Oakland Stadium. I guess that's about the only time we're going to have a chance to talk to Bill Graham. You get a little busy as things go on here? Yeah. Now, I know this is sort of a cliche because it's said a lot of times, but this really is an only in the Bay Area kind of event, isn't it? Yeah, it's an honest cliche. Yeah, this couldn't happen, uh, it hasn't happened through the years uh, in other parts of the country. The uh, local uh, the musicians that live in the Bay Area really uh, support uh, 
many of the worthwhile causes and uh, do something about it, not just talk about it. Yeah. It's been, the, it's been the prevalent all these years, yeah. Yeah. You know, at the uh, gospel show the other night, Berkeley Community Theater, you said something that I was really struck with, and it was very simple. Do you remember what you said at the end? I'll about refresh white, your memory. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. You said, when we meet on the street next time around, let's say hello. And there's a lot behind that. It's, it's schmaltzy, but true. That, uh, you know, you, you, you go to a comedy show, and then you go to the cabaret show, and you go to the gospel show, and uh, you know, a great uh, preponderance of uh, the black community there, and some white and some ethnics. And uh, other than that, we usually, our walks of life don't cross, and it would be nice, uh, as was the case that night, that uh, more of us do connect. Uh, I met some of the reverends uh, at a luncheon the week before, and realized we lived in two different worlds, you know. I, I live in Marin, work in San Francisco, they live in Oakland, and we, our paths never cross. And that night, uh, at the gospel show, blew my mind, the energy in the room, and the, the extraordinary talent that was there, and, the, and the, how it permeated the room, and it was a, it was a block party. It was wonderful. The energy was, was very special. Yeah. I imagine one of the main purposes of this entire week is to make sure there's not a separate AIDS community and a separate well community. Well, it's, uh, that is the, the problem in this particular uh, tragic area, uh, that uh, AIDS obviously is, hits the cross current of, of our population. And uh, it is um, finally getting across to the various elements within the community that this, this is not a Castro Street problem or a Market Street or downtown or black or ethnic. Uh, all you've got to do is uh, tragically look at the uh, hospital wards and look at the uh, children's wards and the, some of the children being brought to AIDS victims and uh, there are no racial barriers there. Yeah. Typical of the Bay Area and of what you do for a living. We're working on this problem with a celebration basically today, right? Other than New Orleans, I guess we're the only ones that yeah. do that. Uh, yeah. But again, uh, many people think that uh, benefits uh, to uh, support worthwhile causes started with Live Aid and became internationally popular uh, media events. These musicians uh, have started doing this in the 60s when uh, there was opposition to the war in Vietnam and right. the civil rights issues. And these same musicians were there then for valid causes and supported them uh, the best way they knew how, by, by performing free of charge. Right. All right, Bill, we're going to hear some of those musicians. I believe it's Tower of Power going to be up soon, but first, let's take this break. KRON-TV and the San Francisco Chronicle present In Concert.